I'm going to show you how you can get your very own online order page up and running in about 10 minutes. This way you can start your 30 day free trial. This is an online order page. This is an online order page. This is an online order page. And this is an online order page. So whether you're selling tea, sandwiches, hamburgers, cookies, doesn't matter what you're selling. If you want to get an online order page up and running and you're doing local pickup, local delivery, I'm going to show you how you can do just that. So the first thing you want to do is go to your dashboard. I'm sure by the time you are watching this video, you are already seeing your dashboard and you want to know what the next step is to start your 30 day free trial. So first you will click on the online order app. And one thing I want to reemphasize is to choose the correct location. Make sure you are on the right location. So if you want to install it for John's Market, choose John's Market. If you want to install it for Sam's Restaurant, choose Sam's Restaurant. Uh, this way it's installed at the correct location because, because what it does, it takes your inventory from your Clover. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is your inventory right here. It takes this information and it creates for you an online order page. So if you're installed at the wrong location, you'll have the wrong inventory. So this inventory gets converted to an online order page where your customers can link to. So for example, if you have a website like this and you have home, menu, franchise, about, album, locations, contact, you'll notice there's something missing on this website. What's missing is there's no order online button. Customers can just see the website, but they can't do anything with it. They can't interact with it. When I say interact, what I mean by that is to order online. So in this case, it's going to create for them an online order page. That way they can put the button here or here or anywhere they want and customers can order. Okay. So again, let's go back to the Clover POS again. This is the Clover POS that you have. You may have a mini, you may have a station, you may have five of these, you may have two of these, you may have three of these and two of these and you have five kitchen printers or you may have one kitchen printer. That doesn't matter. What happens is the online orders will be sent to your Clover and it prints to the Clover automatically. So you don't have to pick up the phone. Everything gets sent to the Clover, processed by the Clover, you get deposits through the Clover. So it's basically integration with your Clover. So think of it this way. Think of your inventory being visible to the public on the internet. Okay. So some of you watching this video may be, may be asking the question, what if I don't have a website? Then you can use your Yelp page. You may, I'm pretty sure you have a Yelp page. Most merchants have a Yelp page. Google yourself and you might find yourself with a Yelp page. So when your online order page is created for you, you can link it to your Yelp page. People, people, most, most restaurants are found these days by doing Yelp search or by Google search. And then you can change this link and have people order from there. Okay. So that's one possibility, or you can link it to your Facebook page. But in this example, I'm going to link it to this website. Okay. I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to more focus on installing the application. I have other videos on how to link it because I want to keep this video short. I'm sure most of you watching this are busy and you want to know how to get us up and running. So I'm going to do that for you. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the Clover dashboard. I'm going to go back to more tools. Okay. I'm going to press more tools. I'm going to find the smart online order app. Once you find it, do a search. I mean, do a search to find it. Those that are watching this video, you may already have the app visible and you're ready to press the button, but you don't know what button to press. I'm going to show you which buttons to press. Okay. So remember, I've already installed it. Uh, so in your case, you may be installing it for the first time. Okay. And this portal is connected to the location you are here. So, so this is going to ask you four questions. The most popular answer will be this one. Okay. This is the one that will create for you an online order page, which you can link to Facebook, Yelp, your own website, Squarespace, GoDaddy, anything on the internet, you can link to it and people can find you and order from there. So for example, once I click this, I press next, it asks me for a domain name. Domain name, if you don't have one, don't worry, just put your business name here. So if your business name is uh, Mike's Sandwich Shop uh, or Mike's um, Cafe, just put Mike's Cafe, okay? Just like that. And, it, and then once you do that, press enter, it'll check if that name is available. If it's not available, it'll tell you it's not available. One thing I want to mention is that if you have more than one location, let's say you have Mike's Cafe one, Mike's Cafe in Los Angeles, New York, Sacramento. When you come to this page, put Mike's Cafe, New York, and then reinstall the app again by going to your second location. And then on your second location, when you install the app, 
when you when you're at the screen again type in mike's new york los angeles because i get uh, calls for merchants asking me how do i do multiple locations it's very simple each time you install the app on your new account click on the new location put a different name here mike's cafe one two three four five six you just keep doing that until you get all your locations set up and then each location will have a unique link okay so this one will have a unique link 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 so in other words if let's suppose this business right here has five locations okay and you're wondering how do I get five locations up onto my website it's pretty simple uh, you put the name of each location on your home page on your about page or on your contact page so for example this one let's see how many locations this business has this one has one location um, okay so this one has one location maybe it has another one coming soon from what I see here so what you would do is you put a button next to it and say order online and people will click on that it will take them to that location if you have additional then you can do the same thing but for now I'm not gonna focus too much on locations um, because this is something your web developer can do for you they can add your other locations on there for you okay in this video I'm gonna focus on how to create your order online page So for the domain name, remember again, your business name. So in this case, I'm going to put the business name. Um, in this case, the business name is Rabbit Rabbit T. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use that name because where did I get the name from? Right here, Rabbit Rabbit T. Remember, your business name will be different if it's you have multiple locations. Put the first location as Rabbit Rabbit T. Maybe you could put Westfield at the end, okay? If if that's your first location. In your second location is going to be Valley Fair. You'll put Rabbit Rabbit T, Valley Fair, uh, just like that. Okay, and that's, it says the name is available. Fill out this form, okay? Put your password. The password is going to be used for you to log into your online order page. Okay, so make sure you have a password here. Put your email address. This email will be used for you to log in. When you have multiple locations, I recommend using the same email for each location. The reason why is because you'll be able to access all of your locations through one email address. Okay, logo. This is very important. If you can do it now, it's better than, do, than doing it later because if you do it now, it's much easier. Later on, you can do it, but if you do it now, it'll save you a lot of time. How do you get your logo? Check your desktop, check your computer. If you can't find it, go to your own website and download your logo right here. So this is the website. If you can't find it on your website, go to your Facebook page. If you can't find your logo on your Facebook page, go to your Yelp page. Look on the internet for your logo. If you don't have a logo, then you can skip it. But I'm sure you may. I'm sure your business already has a logo. So how do you get your logo? Click on your logo and press Save Image As. You may have a Windows computer. You may have a different way of saving the logo, but save it to your desktop or your computer. So I'm going to say Save Image As, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to say Rabbit Logo, okay? You can call yours whatever your logo is called and then save it once you save it it'll go on your computer and then you're going to upload it okay what's the next step the next step is your header image maximum size eight megabytes so make sure it's less than eight megabytes because you want your online order page to run smooth and fast so keep it uh, the size low and the header image this is also very important because when people visit your website you want it to be presentable you want to have something that that catches their attention so for example as you saw earlier um, let me see here this is a header image this is a header image so you want a nice image here okay if you can upload a nice image now that'll be much better than doing it later okay so make sure you have a nice header image um, if you if you don't have one look for one if you want to or go on the internet and find one that's not copyright protected I'll give you an example of how to find one um, but again this is uh, this is this website go to Google type in unsplash okay this website here contains images you can use and it's not copyright protected okay so basically if you use it um, here let me take a look here at the bottom yeah these these images you can use um, and you can just use it uh, if you go on Google and try to get an image it may be copyright protected so go on here type in um, sandwich okay and then you can use one of these pictures of the sandwich these photographers uploaded it so you may want to give them some credit if you can um, but just press download and use the image 
Remember, when you download the image, make sure it's less than 8 megabytes. If it's higher, it won't work. Some of these images are very high quality. It may be higher than 8 megabytes. So find one that's less than 8 megabytes. Okay? So once you get your image, um, let's say if it's not a sandwich, it's a cookie, right? You're, you're a cookie shop. Type in cookie here and get your cookie a picture. Once you get it, uh, you'll go back to that page and you will upload it here, okay? So, and then once you do that, you press submit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those steps. Once you have everything filled out, press submit. Remember, once you press submit, it could take up to 60 seconds for your online order page to be created, okay? So once you press submit, just uh, be patient while it creates it for you. Because what it's doing now is taking your Clover inventory and converting it into an online order page where people can order from and see it on the internet. If this bu submit button doesn't work, check your header image, make sure it's not more than eight megabytes, and make sure you do not include www or .com in the name at the very top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait this out. Uh, once it's created, you'll be able to instantly see it. So again, it can take up to 60 seconds because right now what it's doing is converting it to a online order page so you don't have to do all that hard work yourself it does an instant conversion okay and one other thing i want to mention is that if you ever come back to this page again if you forgot how to log into your order online page it is this password that you created along with your email address so you want to use both of those once the online order page is created for you you'll get this congratulations page okay the congratulations page is gonna show you your online order page it will show you the login link and it'll show you a video make sure you watch this video It's very important you watch this video because there's some additional important steps you do uh, after you create get your online order page created okay so remember once you click once you go here click on this so you can see what it looks like and then once you take a look at it you want to go ahead and hide stuff you don't want visible so for example once your order online page is created after you click on it Give it a few seconds to load for the first time because the first time it loads, it takes a little bit longer. But right now, see how I got the logo up here? I got the header image up here. I got the order online. All these things are done automatically for you. And here's your order online page, okay? So um, what you would do now is after you see it, you wanna go back to the previous section and watch this video. Remember, uh, very important to watch this video. Once you watch this video, the next thing you wanna do is set up your printer so it auto prints. Okay, then you'll click on this link to watch that. And if you actually close this page, don't worry because this information was also emailed to you. Okay, but it's better to watch it right now. Later on, you don't forget. Okay, once you do all these steps, I highly, highly encourage you and I recommend you to watch this video right here. This email is also uh, sent to you as well, this video, but it'll tell you how to make changes on the back end. Okay, and there's a link at the very bottom called documentation. This will give you quick access to how to do uh, tasks. So let me show you what I mean by that. When I click on this link, it will take me to the online order setup support center page. So let's suppose I want to hide an item. I type in the word hide. I choose what I want to do with the hide. Do I want to hide a category an item? If I want to hide an item, just click on hide an item. It will give you a picture. It will tell you press this, this, and that to hide an item. Let's say I want to hide a category. How do I do that? Hide a category. Click on it. It will give you a category. Let's say I want to reorder something. Type in the word reorder. It will give you the answer. So all the answers are within your fingertips. It's everything is here. If you want to learn how to do delivery, if you want to know how to connect you to your Wix website, connect you to your GoDaddy, connect you to your Squarespace, do all these things, it's in the documentation link. Okay, where's the documentation link again? It's on that link that you selected earlier. And you will have this email to you. So keep this as one of your as a, a bookmark that way you can always come back to it and learn how to do these different things okay if you want to do custom hours then click on the custom hours if you want to do store settings and enable tips then then click on these links to learn how to do it so let's say I want to do a tips I want to know how tips works find the word tips click on it and then you'll see how to enable tips it's telling you in, install the tips app on the clover app market and then enable it from here so this is just one example of the things you can do. So take your time, but uh, but again, uh, watch the videos and watch the tutorials. This way, you become you don't get overwhelmed by a lot of stuff. And as you advance, then what you can do is you can add images, descriptions. You can do additional things in the future. Like this this site example, they took their time and added images to each item and descriptions. 
you can do this too but again take your time you don't want to rush everything but take it slow and build on your order online page as the weeks days come by okay so here's a picture i click on it i can see a bit bigger image of it you can do these same things that these other merchants have done okay all right hopefully this video helped you guys out um i look forward to speaking with you uh in the future if you have questions you can reach out but again um, please do uh, use the tutorials that we've given you uh, reach 